three, were you aiming at the middle one? You yeah. weren't aiming at one of the top ones? there I've got a little gate about this wide that you can go through be sure you close it okay okay and so then what you want to do you want to go up that little creek there uh -huh. real quiet like and then come around the back side of this mountain right here uh -huh. and that puts you back in there where there's some real good honey back in there oh, thank you so and much, there's sir. a big old uh, there's a big old dam up there uh -huh. but there's no water in it right now but below that dam there's water and them deer right now they're going to water in there. and we've got a water trough back over there that we maintain mm -hmm. you know a lot of people don't like us ranchers but here's the deal if it wasn't for us the water wouldn't be here and the deer wouldn't come in the water. that's right there wouldn't be no deer in this country because we maintain the water in order for our cows and the deer to have you know yeah water so uh, but he never nice to meet you you nice guys parker parker yeah. all right y'all have fun you too yeah, well, thank you a good one yes sir Today we are filming another video and we're not going to be fishing today obviously. We're out here coos deer and mule deer hunting so we have a tag for any antlered deer. So we're super excited. This looks like a good area. Right now we're following this trail up and we're just trying to find a dam. At the bottom of the dam there's water so there should be deer in the area so hopefully we get some good luck. Once we get up over all this, all this canyon we should be good. So we just made it into our area that we're looking for. The first time we went up the wrong canyon, way like way up back in there, probably about a mile. There's some rough terrain, but we finally found our spot. Down here there's a little there's a dam and uh body of water so all these deer up in this area they come down for that water so hopefully we can find a few so we just got done glass in this area for we're up here for about an hour and a half just glass and all this and we didn't see anything so what our plan is, we're gonna hike up that mountain right there and glass up, glass off on the other side of it. And then if we don't see anything, then we're gonna come back later here tonight. And these deer are gonna be coming down. On the, here's a, this is a dam right here. They're gonna be coming down here tonight. They're gonna get their water for the night. So we're planting some of these rocks right here. So hopefully, hopefully something comes in. Hopefully you see something up there. Yeah, that's a coos deer. Yeah, it's a coos deer. Everybody be quiet. It's speaking here. So, there's two of them by the way. There's two of them. It does? Yeah. See the other one right there? There's the two. No, there's two right. No, see it? The one on top has spikes. Positive. Okay. So, we just, I just glassed up a doe up on this ridge over here. And they went over. So, I kept on glass and I just spotted two more doe over there. But so far no bucks, so we're gonna keep on glass and hopefully glass with a buck to shoot. But it's exciting to see some deer. Okay guys, well we just we may have just glassed up a buck on this tree. It's kinda hard to see right now and it moved. But we don't know for sure. We're gonna we're gonna keep on looking, maybe it'll move, but for now, I have no clue. Alright, so um, we're sitting here glassing and I saw something sitting up underneath a tree and I thought it was a, a deer because I could see like a, I saw a body and like the antler sticking up. So we watched for a little while and it ducked its head down so we know it's a deer. 
So I'm probably gonna go up there alone, maybe have one person come with me, and uh, this guy right here, <laughs> and uh, see if I can shoot it. Okay guys, we're going after the deer now. Steven and Nick are gonna stay here and keep us posted. Me and Parker are gonna walk over there, that rock, get about 200, 250 yards, and we're gonna see what we can do. Today was me, Parker, and Parker Jeff start walking down to it, and we hiked down to the canyon, and we got like 300 yards, and I was gonna take a shot, but we couldn't see it, so we had to hike up to where it was, kind of. And so on our way up, we just spooked it, and. Hey guys, so we were at the other spot for the past few days and we didn't see Jack's squat. We only saw just a few does. So we decided to come in a whole new area. It was about a two hour drive from our last spot, but it's in the same unit. So we have all this awesome country to hunt in and we found a water hole, so we're gonna go blast that for a little bit. Let's go look for some deer. That's what Today, we changed locations to this new area. It's more up north, same unit. And we got here a little while ago. It was pretty late, so we got camp set up. And we only had a little bit of time left to go hunting, so we came out here and found this awesome canyon. Down this canyon is a water hole, so there's tons of deer out here. So far, we've only seen doe, but I didn't know there's a buck in there. We have just told tomorrow morning to shoot something. If not, then we have to head out by noon, so. Fingers crossed we can get something. <sighs> okay guys, it is now day three and it is 5.43, so we're gonna eat breakfast and we're gonna head out. We found some really good spots with some water, so I feel like we're gonna find some bucks today. And then brush. You killed it. It was right there. That's a good shot. 
It's like I'm hauling it. 350 yards. 350 yards. Jesus yeah, 350 Christ. yards. Keep your water it in your shot. Mouth. I guess I hit over its back. So I guess I was squeezing really hard. I didn't mean to. I was just kind of shaky. Ran. Shot a couple more times. Stopped underneath the tree. Shot. Went over it. Shot again. Yeah, drilled it. We're gonna go kill some mother trucking deer. Hopefully. He, this kid already killed one. Mother deer. That ends for this trip. It was, we had such an awesome time. What happened was we came up to this one area for the first few days and it was just super rough hunting. We didn't find any bucks. We found a couple does and it was just within like four hours. We only saw like three deer. Gunner did end up seeing a buck the first day, but by the time it got up there, that thing was gone. So it was just a really rough hunt. We had, how many miles do you think we did total? Probably at least eight. No, probably at least 15. We hiked a lot. Um, yeah, it was just a super, it was a pretty rough hunt, but it was a good experience, and sometimes it's not about what you always kill, but it's just about the experiences you had. Then the third day, we came over to this area, and it was just awesome. We were seeing a lot of deer, but we just didn't have enough time. I got up into some awesome country today, but by the time I got up there, some guy already shot a bunch of deer out of there, so that's just what happens, but super awesome hunt. We enjoyed it, and again, it's not about what you kill, but it's just about the experience. Thank you guys so much for watching.